Is there anyone on stage, and can I see hands, who is unwilling tonight to pledge your support to the eventual nominee of the Republican Party and pledge to not run an independent campaign against that person? Raise your hand now if you won't make that pledge tonight. Mr. Trump. So, Mr. Trump. Donald Trump has no allegiance to the GOP. From 2001 to 2009, Trump was a registered Democrat. In a 2004 interview with Wolf Blitzer, Trump said, In many cases, I probably identify more as a Democrat. So what would happen if Trump lost the GOP nomination but ran as an independent? Reuters polled a three-way race between Biden, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and Donald Trump running as an independent. Biden led with 44% of the vote, Trump received 23%, and DeSantis received 22%. Here's how that would play out in the Electoral College. Biden would win all the states he took in 2020, that includes Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Hawaii, Colorado, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District, Michigan, Illinois, Pennsylvania, New York, Georgia, Virginia, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine's at-large, and Maine's 1st Congressional District, bringing Joe Biden to 303 electoral votes. Quite a nice head start. Remember, you only need 270 to win. With Trump and DeSantis splitting the GOP vote, we can safely give Joe Biden any state where he received at least 40% of the vote in 2020. That includes Maine's 2nd Congressional District, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Ohio, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Louisiana, technically he only got 39.85% of the vote here, but I think that's close enough. Mississippi, Texas, Kansas, Nebraska's first congressional district, Montana, and Alaska, bringing Joe Biden to 471 electoral votes, which wouldn't actually be a record. The record for most electoral votes is held by FDR, who won 523 in the 1936 presidential election. And we still have 67 electoral votes to allocate. Let's take a look at the states where Joe Biden won at least 35% of the vote. They'd likely go to him if Trump and DeSantis were splitting the remaining 65%. That includes Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Nebraska at large, South Dakota, and Utah. Let's throw in Arkansas with these states. Biden received 34.78% of the vote there in 2020. And honestly, I think any state where Biden cracked 30% would lean towards him as he now possesses the incumbency advantage over Trump and DeSantis. That's Idaho, Oklahoma, and North Dakota. Bringing Joe Biden to 530 electoral votes and a brand new record. Why don't you celebrate by clicking that subscribe button below this video? We're very close to unlocking the community tab on this YouTube channel. It would help us out tremendously. Biden only got 26% of the vote in Wyoming in 2020, so we'll lean that towards Donald Trump. Biden also only got 22% of the vote in Nebraska's 3rd Congressional District. We'll give that towards Trump as well. And Biden nearly received 30% of the vote in West Virginia in 2020. He didn't quite get there, so we'll lean that towards Trump. Bringing our final total to Biden, 530 electoral votes, Donald Trump, 8 electoral votes, and Ron DeSantis, 0 electoral votes. Darling, it's so sad. What do you think would happen if Trump ran as an independent? Let me know in the comments section below, and as always, thanks for watching.